Wow, words cannot express how grateful and thankful I am to you all for watching every single video we upload here on YouTube for us to learn together and for subscribing as well. My name is Sandy Opondinchi, a student, journalist and a blogger. I'm also the host for the campus show, an English trainer and the ambassadorial coach here on the ambassadorial coach YouTube where we learn together about certain things that we need to learn, certain basic English mistakes we all make, how to talk well, how we present ourselves well, and a whole lot of things. I believe the word thank you has been used over and over again and it has become a cliche. And then before I jump into the real thing, there is a video on how to respond to your welcome. I'll put the link up there in this video so you can watch numerous ways to say you are welcome to someone. And then bear in mind, in this particular video, there will be a series of this video. We'll learn together how to say thank you. Let's learn English. So the first thing we are doing is that we are doing how to say thank you in a formal way. So when someone helps you with something or someone does something for you or to you, the best thing to say or to tell the person is thank you very much or thank you. But from where I sit, I believe we have used the word thank you so much and it has become a cliche now anytime someone does something for you thank you but there are thousands of words out there that we can still use it for us to present ourselves very well as the ambassadors that we are so we are going to look at six ways to say thank you in a formal way so the first thing that we learn in saying thank you is i'm eternally grateful or thankful so when you are thanking someone you can say I'm eternally grateful or thankful bear in mind so if you are at work and then you did something you work so hard and then your boss gave you a bonus tip an amount of money on top of your pay and you want to show appreciation to your boss by thanking him you can say I'm eternally grateful or I'm eternally thankful anyhow you want it two words cannot describe how thankful i am and then bear in mind that when i was beginning this video this is the word i used to in appreciating you guys you guys have been an awesome people ever since i began this journey about we really learning how to speak english and presenting ourselves well in public and i'm still using this opportunity to thank you so much for the consistent watching and then subscribing this video anytime and you learning as well in your comments as well thank you so much words cannot express or describe how i feel so when you want to thank someone or show appreciation to someone you can say words cannot describe how thankful i am to you so an example is for example um, a couple and then the man throws a party for his partner and then after the party the lady walks up to the man and tell the man that oh darling or oh annie however you want to mention it words cannot express or describe how thankful i am to you so this case you can use words cannot express how thankful i am to you the person could just say a normal thank you but i feel that when you say thank you someone has someone has thrown a big party for you at kimpiski and all you can tell the person is a, a, a little thank you it doesn't really carry weight do you get it so when you say something like words cannot express or describe how thankful i am to you the person could also be appreciative and then be appreciated that oh what i did for my partner she's very pleased with it so the next word is i really value your hard work so when you want to say thank you to someone you can say i really value your hard work so you are in a work set setting and then your boss asks you to do something for him he didn't mention certain things for you to do but with your own knowledge you went ahead to do all of them and when your boss came back and he watched or saw the work he was so impressed and very happy you could have just said thank you but he said i really value your hard work in that he has thanked you so all that you did for your boss 
and then the ones you leave it ask you when he comes and he tell you i really value your hard work your boss in other words is thanking you the last but one is please accept my deepest heartfelt thanks so an example could be that um you are going to write an exam and then you needed a french colleague or a teacher or someone and then your french colleague or your colleague step in saying that oh i can't help and then your friend helped you with your english sorry your french lesson after your exams and then you you finish writing your exams in appreciating your friend you can say please accept my deepest heartfelt thanks which means you are very grateful and then you are overwhelmed about the sacrifices your friend made towards your exams when you're going to write the french exams the last one is i'm i'm so grateful for what you did or truly grateful so these are formal ways you can say thank you to people at work or in the corporate world for you to present yourself as an ambassador as you are there is a part two of this video so don't forget to subscribe to this video and hit on the notification button to remind you when we post the part two of how to say thank you in a formal way like this video if you learned something share this video to your friend and your loved one and then see you in the part two of how to say thank you in a formal way bye bye